Dennis Quaid documentary, Grid Down, Power Up, explores dangers of sudden electric grid failure. Actor Dennis Quaid is known for his multifaceted roles on the silver screen, but he recently released a documentary about the prospect of a power grid outage that would send the United States back to the 1880s. Quaid joined Jesse Waters' prime time to discuss the documentary and explore the possibility of what he said could be caused by anything from terrestrial attacks on power stations to a Chinese balloon carrying incendiary payload over U.S. airspace. Host Jesse Waters quipped that Quaid's latest venture scared D the heck out of him while playing clips from the film. In it, Quaid explains how the U.S. power grid is often overlooked in terms of its sensitivity and importance to daily life. Heat, gas for our cars, transportation for food restocking all of it relies to some extent on electricity. But no one likes to focus on what could happen if it all suddenly is taken away, he said in his narration. On Jesse Waters' prime time, Quaid added there have already been several attacks and plots against U.S. substations, including one recent situation where two suspects plotted sequential attacks on Baltimore-area substations they hoped would grind Charm City to a halt. This is not the day after tomorrow, by the way. This is tomorrow, Quaid said, nodding to his 2004 apocalyptic film. I think it could happen, and it's a problem that we can fix. He noted that one of the biggest power outages in U.S. history was caused by tree limbs making contact with wires in Ohio in 2003 blacking out New York and several surrounding states as well as parts of Canada for multiple days. That was just a small little event, but a GMT event a bad actor could take it out through a Chinese balloon, for all we know. Quaid began. It could be up to, like, 30 days, but what we're talking about is like a nuclear explosion up in space. If a catastrophic outage caused by an atmospheric or space-based attack occurred and caused a month-long outage, Quaid warned, it would take us back to 1880, and you wouldn't be able to get gas, you wouldn't be able to get food.